Welcome back, everyone. Ready to dive into another treasure test of trivia. Always up for a good knowledge expedition. What intriguing topics do we have lined up today? Well, this time around, we've got 25 questions spanning history, science, pop culture, the whole shebang. Sounds like quite the mental workout. Let's jump right in. All right, question number one. What electromagnetic radiation did Wilhelm Röntgen discover in 1895? And here's a hint. It's used in baggage scanners to detect hidden objects. Okay, so think about those scanners using a form of energy to peer right through solid objects. This radiation is powerful stuff. It has a shorter wavelength than ultraviolet light, so it's very high energy. Astronomers use it to observe some of the most extreme events in the universe. Black holes, supernovae, you name it. Oh, and it's also used in medical imaging. You get It's x-rays. And you know what's even more fascinating? Runchin stumbled upon them completely by accident while he was experimenting with cathode rays. Talk about a happy accident that changed the world of medicine forever. Right. It's amazing how a single discovery can have these massive ripple effects. Speaking of shaping the world, our next question takes us from the microscopic level to a much grander scale. Established in 1872, what location holds the prestigious title of the world's very first national park? The world's first national park, huh? That's a pretty big deal. Picture this. A landscape totally shaped by volcanic activity. We're talking geysers erupting in these huge plumes of steam, hot springs bubbling with the Earth's internal heat. It's basically a showcase of geothermal wonders. Sounds like a natural water show. Yeah. I bet you're even picturing that super famous geyser, the one that erupts like clockwork, what is it, every 90 minutes or so. You're definitely on the right track. We're talking about Yellowstone National Park. And that geyser you're thinking of is Old Faithful, of course. Its eruptions are a pretty awesome reminder of just how much pressure and heat are generated deep within the Earth's crust. From the fiery heart of a volcano, our journey takes us to the plains of Africa. Question three. What animal found in Africa has a name that literally translates to tiger horse in Greek? Tiger horse. That's a pretty cool name. These animals are incredibly social. They live in these groups called harems, and each one is led by a dominant stallion. And get this, even when the stallion moves on, the females, they stick together. They've got these super strong social bonds. Uh, and they also have stripes as unique as fingerprints. No two are alike. <laughs> Talk about girl power. It is, of course, the zebra. But sadly, not all zebra species have been so lucky. One subspecies, the quagga, with that really distinctive lack of stripes on his hindquarters, was actually hunted to extinction in the late 19th century. But for now, let's leave the savanna and gallop into the world of cinema for question four. All right, a change of scenery. Love it. What city with its iconic landmarks and star-studded sidewalks serves as the backdrop for the intertwining tales of Pulp Fiction, the futuristic dystopia of Blade Runner, and the star-studded dreams of La La Land? This city is like a magnet for dreamers. It's a place where aspirations are as big as that Hollywood sign overlooking the whole city. It's also where the Walk of Fame immortalizes legends. And palm trees and sunshine set the stage for the pursuit of fame and fortune. From the silver screen to sandy beaches, you've undoubtedly pictured the City of Angels, Los Angeles. And speaking of unforgettable characters, our next question centers around a movie character, albeit a rather unusual one. This time we're not talking about a person, but an object. What hand-painted volleyball, featured in the film Cast Away, becomes a stranded man's unlikely companion? Okay, picture this. A deserted island, one survivor clinging to hope. In this totally desolate setting, a simple volleyball brought to life with a hand-painted face becomes this beacon of connection. It's a symbol of resilience against this crushing weight of isolation. It's Wilson. And let's be real. For fans of Cast Away, that volleyball is almost as unforgettable as Tom Hanks himself. Speaking of unforgettable characters, question six takes us deeper into the world of cinema with a 2016 fantasy film. This visually stunning film, directed by the visionary Tim Burton, takes us on a journey with Jake as he discovers a hidden world inhabited by children with extraordinary abilities. This film is classic Burton, you know. It's got that whimsical but slightly dark aesthetic that he's so famous for. Imagine a mysterious island shrouded in secrecy, a place where time runs on a loop, and kids with these peculiar gifts, they live in a home frozen in time. If you're picturing floating children and time-bending adventures, you're spot on. It's Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children. Now let's switch gears from the world of peculiar children to a beloved character known for her adorable simplicity. I'm always up for a dose of cuteness. Created by Yuko Shimizu in 1974, this British-born anthropomorphic white kitten 
instantly recognizable with her iconic red bow, has become a global phenomenon, gracing everything from stationery to clothing. And yet, despite her worldwide run, she's known for one curious feature, or rather, the lack thereof. This feline fashion icon, seriously, with her trademark red bow, she's charmed her way into hearts around the world. And did you know she's got a twin sister? Together, they get up to all sorts of adventures in a charming London suburb. That's right. Even without a visible mouth, Hello Kitty's charm is undeniable. Her simple design and cheerful demeanor have made her a timeless symbol of friendship and cuteness. But for now, we're leaving Hello Kitty's world and venturing back into the animal kingdom. Question 8. Native to the Andes Mountains and sporting the densest fur of any land mammal, what rodent thrives in these high-altitude environments? So this little creature is like the ultimate survivor. This rodent is so well suited to the crazy, harsh climate of the Andes that it boasts the densest fur of any land mammal. Sadly, though, that same fur made it a major target for hunters, and they were nearly hunted to extinction. You're right, it's the chinchilla. <laughs> From the heights of the Andes, our next question brings us to the world of literature and a true literary giant. Born in Stratford-upon-Avon, England in April 1564, this playwright with works like Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet left an indelible mark on the English language and continues to captivate audiences centuries later. Right. His works are truly timeless. He explored these universal themes of love, loss, ambition, the complexities of being human. And even today, his plays are performed on stages all over the world, which is a testament to their enduring power. If you're picturing the bard himself, you're absolutely right. It's William Shakespeare, a true master of language and storytelling. Now, get ready for liftoff with question 10, because we're journeying to the stars. This question asks, what interstellar object first spotted in 2017 by the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii, made history as the first of its kind detected passing through our solar system. Oh, I remember when they discovered this thing. It was huge news in the scientific community. Unlike comets, it didn't have a visible coma, you know, that hazy cloud you usually see surrounding a comet's nucleus when it was near the sun? And its shape was really strange, super elongated, almost like a cosmic cigar. It was an interstellar visitor like no other Oumuamua. Its origins and composition are still a bit of a mystery, which makes it even more intriguing. But for now, we'll leave Umua to its interstellar journey. We've got more trivia to uncover. You read my mind. Let's do it. From the vastness of space, let's grab a bite with question 11. Burger enthusiasts, this one's for you. What fast food chain, known for its square patties and iconic red-haired girl mascot, did something pretty bold back in 1979? They introduced a salad bar to the burger joint scene. A salad bar at a burger joint. Wow, that was a pretty wild move back then. Right. They're also known for their super straightforward slogan, no beating around the bush with this chain. If you're picturing juicy burgers and a side of nostalgia, it's got to be Wendy's. <laughs> and speaking of classics, their where's the beef slogan, pure advertising gold. But for now, let's trade those burgers for togas and dive into some Roman mythology with question 12. Often depicted in the nude and associated with beauty and love, what goddess emerged from the sea foam to become a major figure in Roman art and culture? Oh, she was definitely more than just a pretty face. Right. I mean, we're talking beauty, love, even military victory. She was a force to be reckoned with in Roman mythology. Rising from the sea foam, it's Venus. And her birth story is almost as captivating as her many, many depictions in art and literature. Speaking of captivating stories, our next question takes us on a literary adventure to the depths of the ocean. Question 13 asks, what strait, featured in Jules Verne's classic 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, puts Captain Nemo and the Nautilus in a pretty tight spot? Oh, this strait is notorious for its crazy strong currents, and it's got this whole labyrinth of islands, so navigation is, like, ridiculously difficult. That's for the faint of heart. It's a turning point in Verne's novel, for sure. Shows you the sheer power of nature and how humans try to outsmart it. You're right, those waters are no joke. <laughs> We're talking about the Torres Strait, nestled between Australia and New Guinea. From the depths of the ocean, our trivia expedition takes us back in time to 18th century America. Question 14. What American polymath, known for his architectural skills, philosophical insights, and agricultural innovations, also penned the Declaration of Independence in 1776? Talk about a renaissance, man. I mean, his contributions to American history are massive shaping the nation's founding principles, designing his incredible home, Monticello, which is now our UNESCO World Heritage Site. His legacy is 
everywhere you look. It's none other than Thomas Jefferson, mm -hmm. a true testament to the power of curiosity and a lifelong love of knowledge. But let's shift gears from politics and architecture to something a little more modern music. Question 15 focuses on an artist born in 1989 who, at just 14 years old, started her musical journey as a country singer-songwriter. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Since then, she's moved seamlessly into pop music, and she's got fans all over the world, drawn in by those heartfelt lyrics and catchy tunes. Seriously, she's a total powerhouse in the music industry. Sold out stadium tours, chart-topping hits, she's proven she can connect with people across genres. Exactly. And she hasn't limited herself to just music either. She's been in films too, like Valentine's Day and The Giver. With a career spanning over two decades and more awards than you can count, it's Taylor Swift. I knew it. From country darling to global pop icon, she's proof that talent, Hard work and evolving as an artist can take you far. But let's leave the stage lights behind and head back to the ocean. Question 16. What group of fascinating sea creatures has this incredible ability to regenerate lost limbs? Some species can even regrow their whole body from just one arm. Now that's what I call a superpower. Right. These creatures are amazing. They come in all these crazy colors and shapes, but you always know it's one because of their spiny skin and radial symmetry. They use tube feet to move around and stick to surfaces, but it's that regeneration thing that really blows my mind. Scientists are still studying it today. From the crown of thorns, the ones with a serious appetite for coral, to the super vibrant blue linkia with that striking blue color, it's the incredible starfish. Their regenerative abilities show just how adaptable and resilient nature can be. Now let's journey from the ocean to the captivating world of storytelling with question 17. This question is all about a fictional character known for her cleverness and her amazing stories. Mm -hmm. Facing some serious danger, she uses her gift for storytelling to save her own life. Night after night, she spins these tales that keep a king totally enthralled. Oh, her stories are legendary. They've been passed down for centuries, translated into I don't know how many languages. Right. We're talking stories like Aladdin's Wonderful Lamp and Alibaba and the Forty Thieves. Magic, adventure, timeless wisdom, and all this back to her. From the pages of 1001 Nights, it's Scheherazade. Her story proves the power of words. A well-told tale can captivate, transport, even transform. And speaking of transformation, question 18 takes us back to the world of brilliant minds, the ones who challenge the boundaries of what we know. What theoretical physicist born in 1918 totally revolutionized our understanding of the universe? He left behind a legacy of groundbreaking work, including the famous diagrams that are used to calculate particle interactions. This physicist? Yeah. His contributions to science, huge. I mean, just massive. Right. His work in quantum electrodynamics won him a Nobel Prize. But he was also known for being this really playful guy, and he had a totally unique approach to solving problems. His book, Surely You're Joking, Mr. Feynman, gives you a glimpse into his brilliant, unconventional mind. It's the one and only Richard Feynman. His work still shapes how we understand the universe and his personality. It still inspires aspiring scientists everywhere. From the complexities of quantum physics, our trivia expedition takes a turn south. Down south. All right, I'm game. Question 19 asks, what American playwright, born Thomas Lanier Williams III, wasn't afraid to explore themes of desire and decay in his work? He actually won Pulitzer Prizes for A Streetcar Named Desire and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Oh, wow, his plays were intense. Or in day. Raw, emotional, super personal. He drew a lot from his own life, you know, grappling with things like depression and addiction. But even with those struggles, he left behind this incredibly powerful legacy. Definitely. People still connect with his work today because it's such an honest look at, you know, the human experience. If you guess those iconic plays right off the bat, you're spot on. It's Tennessee Williams. Ah. All right, let's lighten the mood a bit. Sounds good to me. Question 20. What food, and his name means rooster's beak, in Spanish, really packs a punch with its chunky, uncooked goodness. Ooh, a food question. Okay, so unlike its smoother cooked counterpart, this dish is all about that fresh, vibrant flavor. And while it got its start in Mexico, you can find different versions of it all over the world. Argentina's chimichurri, Morocco's chermula, each culture puts its own spin on it. If you're suddenly craving a burst of fresh, zesty flavor, you're probably picturing pico de gallo also known as salsa fresca, salsa bandera, or salsa cruda. It just goes to show you simple, fresh ingredients are all you need sometimes. But enough about delicious dips. Let's head back to space one last time. Question 21. What planet 
and it's the farthest in our solar system, takes a leisurely 165 Earth years to make one trip around the sun. Whoa, talk about taking the long way around. This gas giant is a beauty, though, with that amazing blue color. It really is something. It's a world of extremes, that's for sure. Think about it, an atmosphere made mostly of hydrogen, helium, and methane. It's freezing out there, and it's got 1414 known moons, including the mass of Triton. At a mind-boggling 4 billion kilometers from Earth, it's the mighty Neptune. Its distance and what it's made of continue to blow astronomers away. Speaking of fascinating places, our next question takes us to Africa. Known as the green city in the sun because of all its lush greenery and vibrant atmosphere, what city is both the capital and the largest city of Kenya? Oh, I love this city. Even the name has a cool story. It comes from a Maasai phrase that means cool water. That's right. It's this incredible mix of culture, business, history. But in the middle of all the hustle and bustle, you've got these beautiful green spaces. It really is a unique place. They make the city what it is. If you're imagining a place where city life meets nature, you've got it. It's Nairobi. Okay, ready for a quick trip into the world of Irish folklore? Always. Hit me with it. Question 23. Mm. What mythical creature usually shown as this small, mischievous being, is said to grant you three wishes if you catch it. But you have to let it go. Ugh, classic Irish folklore. These little guys are all about good luck, trickery, and of course, that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. There are so many stories about their pranks and how they guard their treasure. If you're picturing a certain movie starring Warwick Davis from back in 1992, yeah. you're on the right track. Mm. It's the Leprechaun. We're almost at the end of our trivia journey. Just two questions left. Question 24 celebrates a true visionary of our time. Born in 1964, this entrepreneur co-founded one of the world's biggest technology companies in 1999. He changed the face of online shopping forever. Now, this is a story of incredible transformation. Mm -hmm. This guy went from being an English teacher to one of the richest people in China. Talk about thinking big. His journey shows what happens when you combine innovation, pure determination, and a belief in the power of technology. You're absolutely right. It's Jack Ma, the co-founder of Alibaba. And now for the final question, number 25, the last treasure in our trivia chest. This one asks, what company, and it's a tech giant now, started in a rented garage? They even built their first server storage rack out of Legos. Wow, talk about humble beginnings. And now their products are everywhere, but you can still see that playful creative spirit in everything they do. Remember their first doodle back in 1998? The one for the Burning Man Festival? How could I forget? Total classic. If you're picturing a certain colorful logo and a world of information at your fingertips, you're right, it's Google. From a garage to a global empire, their story is all about the power of innovation, a little bit of genius, and the guts to chase a big idea. Hi, quizzers. Believe it or not, the hosts of the quiz were AI generated. We created the voiceover with Google's Notebook LM. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.